What's up, guys? Welcome to Glenn Reviews. Alright, so uh, in this episode of Glenn Reviews, we're looking at the Taco Bell Nacho Fries Supreme. Supreme. And if Supreme doesn't give it away already, I'm thinking these are going to be pretty good. I mean, I've had the nacho fries before, so that's why I didn't just do the nacho fries like classic. I want to give it give it a little spice, a little pizzazz. And so I'm thinking that these are going to be fire. Flame, in fact. Of course, I didn't get any sauce, so it's not actually going to be fire. But that's okay. So, uh, of course, I got that Diet Pepsi on lock. <sighs> Dang. And then, all right, so let's... A napkins a plus well done boys all right okay well here's the box you can see the fries inside utilize a nice little shot of that uh, let's see oh my just look at that I mean of course Taco Bell threw in an extra seventh ingredient out of their normal six and they added fries to their meat, sour cream, cheese, and tomatoes. So, let me get, get into this real quick. Aw, oh, what? So they gave me a spark. Last last time I was here, I, I, I distinctly recall them having actual forks, which realistically is eons ahead of the, the spork. It's like, oh yeah, sure, I can eat cereal with it, and also eat my eggs, but it's like, come on, dude. Like, well, am I just gonna be spooning those tomatoes and like nacho cheese in my mouth? Not a chance. All right, so there you can see the fries, nice and crispy. Let's actually get a fry and see if we can uh, get as little as little extras as possible. Uh, pick one of these ones on the bottom. Okay, so here's a mostly classic fry. Get that in the light there there see that nice and uh, nice and saucy oh yeah let's so let's try that that's all right it's it's classic enough mm -hmm. all right so uh I've caught myself just eating. All right, let's see. Let's get a little bit of everything. We got some tomatoes, some sour cream, some meat, and a fry. Golly, when did I like lose my motor skills? Get look at this. Okay, so you can see. Got the, some meat, some tomatoes, some lettuce. No, it's not actually. Uh, there is a tomato in there. You can't see, but I can. All right. So this is the Taco Bell Nacho Fry Supreme going in. Oh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Let's get one more bite and I'll I'll I'll, I'll say a few a few words. Mm. Mm. Forgive me. It's a little messy. Mm. So if you've ever had the five layer burritos from Taco Bell. You could probably imagine what kind of meat situation we're talking about. You know, we're not talking no steaks. We're not talking no, like, chicken. We're talking, like, very cheap ground beef. And <clears throat> with the sour cream and nacho cheese the f and the tomatoes, it's like a five-layer It's like a five -layer burrito that they've just gutted and taken out the lettuce. But in the same, in the same way as putting fries on a cheeseburger, right, or potato chips onto a like turkey sandwich. Sandwich. Are you flaming me in the comments for saying sandwich. sandwich? But 
it's 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 just the same with the nacho fries. The nacho fries are fine on their own. Chips are fine on their own. Regular fries are fine on their own. But when you add them into this gutted five layer burrito, it it works. You know, and it's of course it's like, oh, why wouldn't it work? But it works in a way that makes you want to get a size larger or even share with friends. Now, of course, actually not share with friends because I want all these for myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, something something to consider when you're buying these is that after a while, because it's got a lot of it's got nacho cheese, it's got sour cream, like milk and water based products, your fries are gonna get a little soggy. Well, look at that. Dang it, I like the shirt. But your fries are gonna get a little soggy after a while. And so I think that when you attack this yourself, you're gonna want to go out guns blazing, so to speak. And of course, because of, because of its uh, simple, simple nature, Taco Bell has a very, has a knack for creating simple things that seem like, oh my gosh, really? Like putting a taco inside a quesadilla and calling it a cheesy gordita crunch and then by extension making one of the greatest uh, confections ever eaten by man. It's very simple, but it's so natural. Almost like a combination I, I should have already already had, already expected. And soggy fries and all, it's all right. And probably more than all right. Now these tomatoes, let's try just one of those. Yeah. Uh, the tomatoes, I think for Taco Bell, they're flavorful enough. Meat, a little powdery, but not quite like school lunch level. And of course, it's nacho cheese and sour cream. I mean, you've had nachos before. You've had a quesadilla before. Even holding the dang tray underneath my freaking mouth. <clears throat> so ultimately, I'm thinking that it's it's such a an interesting idea. Looking at it as it's so it's like it's such a simple combination that all of us should have thought about it before now, like in the same way like chili cheese fries. But because it's Taco Bell, right, they got to put their own, like, pseudo-Mexican style on it and put it in, like, oh, oh, okay, so you've had, like, chili cheese fries before. But have you had fries inside a five-layer burrito? And I think that's the, that's the thought process that'll, that really pushes this to the next level. So... <clears throat> All things considered, got napkins, bingo. It's got okay ingredients, probably on the higher end for Taco Bell uh, in this particular case, because this was only like $3, like $3.97, including my medium drink, which, uh, by the way, got a refill, reload. I think this one, it's a very classic, very honest. 8 out of 10. And a happy Cory in the house. And and because it's such a simple idea that's been thought that's been thought through creatively. Ingredients are fine, the taste all coming together. It it's it's a spin on an old classic. Right. And a spin on an old classic that I would eat twice the amount that I purchased of. I would eat like 50 of these fries, unfortunately. But all things considered, 8 out of 10. Happy Corey in the house. I'm happy. My wallet's happy. 397. Bingo. That's what I'm talking about. 
and it's just the whole situation. Taco Bell, they might have gone wrong with taco shells, you know, a time or two, you know. They, uh, my, my, just might have done some weird things. But this is not a weird thing. This is a blessing. This right here is human ingenuity at its finest. This, like, whoever created these is the, is, like, the image of peak male performance. And if it wasn't even a male, the peak female performance. We don't discriminate here on Glen Reviews. So, pardon me. This is actually my dinner. <clears throat> well done, Taco Bell. Diet Pepsi still sucks. They had napkins. They gave me a spork. Now looking back, it's kind of weird, but I could I, I could understand why now. Because you got a lot of, like, sauce-based kind of stuff: nacho cheese, sour cream, meat, in liquid sauce. You got a lot of water-based stuff, so you'd probably need a spoon more than you'd need a fork. But uh, all things considered, Taco Bell really blew this one out of the park. It's a, it's a homer for sure. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around. Pepsi sucks. Ugh.